viewers to my channel today in this session together i want to show you three ways how you can you can calculate the tax saving on tax allowable depreciation so we'll read this passage then we calculate tax saving in three different ways pico pays corporation tax of 26 percent with the tax liability being second in the year in which it arises the company can claim tax allowable depreciation on the full initial investment of 20 million on a 25 percent reducing balance basis the investment project is expected to have a zero residual value at the end of four years if it means zero residual value it means we can claim the whole 20 million as tax allowable depreciation we can claim the whole 20 million as tax allowable depreciation as there is no residual value and also we are told that uh, we are using the reducing balance basis if we were using the straight line basis we're going to say 20 million divided by four years that is five that is five million per year we say five million per year multiplied by the tax rate of 26 we get the tax saving of that um year is equal savings for four years now as we are using the residual value method we will, the reducing balance method let's go to the, our methods our cost remains twenty thousand we are working everything in thousands now as our depreciation we say our depreciation is 25 percent reducing balance method so we say 25 percent of 20 in the first year we get a depreciation of what of 5000 we say 20 minus 5000 we get 15. then for year two, the depreciation for year two it will be 25 percent multiplied by the npv for year one which is 15 we get that then now if you want the npv for year two we say npv for year one minus depreciation for year two we get 11. then for year three we say 25 percent multiplied by the npv 25 percent in year three multiplied by the npv for year two we get the depreciation for year three NPV for year three, we say NPV for year two minus depreciation for year three. And we also know that uh, in year four, there won't be any NPV as it has got the zero residual value. So everything will be depreciated. So by year four, we have to depreciate the whole 20,000. So the, we have in year four, we have to depreciate the whole year three NPV as the balancing figure. So if we say 5,000 plus 3,750 plus 2,813 plus 813, we get that 20,000. 20, now our tax rate is 26%. Tax rate is 26%. Tax rate 26%. What we know by end of year four, we should have depreciated the whole 20,000 at 26%. So the tax saving for four years will be 5,200. But the tax saving for each year will be 5,000, that is depreciation, multiplied by the tax rate. That is for year one, year two. 3750 multiplied by the tax rate of 26 we get that in year 3 we say depreciation multiplied by the tax rate we get that in year 4 we say that balancing allowance multiplied by the tax rate of 26 we get that if we add the tax saving for year 1 2 3 and 4 we get the 5200 so everything is correct then then now we go to our second method now our second method the cost remains the same so we copy our cost down also the total depreciation 
remains the same. Then for year one, we'll say 25% multiplied by 20,000, we get 5,000. We say NPV for year one is 20 minus depreciation for year one. Then now, NPV for year two, it will be 75% of the NPV for year one. NPV for year three, it will be 75% of NPV for year two. NPV for year four will be zero, as this asset has got zero residual value. Then now, let's calculate the depreciation. Depreciation for year two will be NPV for year one minus NPV for year two. We get that depreciation. If for year three now, we'll say NPV for year two minus NPV for year three. We get our, our, our depreciation. For year four, the depreciation, we say NPV for year three minus NPV for year four. We get our depreciation for year four. Then our tax rate is 26%. Tax rate is 26%. It's still the same. We say 5,000 multiplied by 26%. We get the same rates. We can copy the formula down. We can also say prove by say 20,000 multiplied by 26%. We get the total there. Then our method number three, we say the cost remains the same. Also, the total depreciation remains the same. And we know that by end of year four, we should have claimed the whole 20,000 at 26%. So the tax saving would be 5,200. Then as we are using the 25% reducing balance net basis to say 25% multiplied by 20, we get 5,000. We will say, we will say now, tax saving, the tax rate is 20%, 26%, we say tax saving, we will say 5,000 multiplied by 26, we get 1.3. Now the tax saving for year two will be 75% of the tax saved in year one. For year three also, it will be 75% of year two. Then of year four, it will be the balancing figure. We say the total tax saving minus the tax saving for year one minus the tax saving for year two, minus the tax saving for year three, we get the same figure, 21.94. All these methods are valid. I hope you, you, you will find it useful. But method number three seems a little bit easier and shorter and faster if you are using the, if you are writing the computer-based uh, exam. Thank you very much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe.